Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and attention coach, Jeff Copper. And today I, uh, sitting here just really want to create a little bit of an awareness for people out there with ADHD. Um, if you've followed any of my stuff, you'll realize that I talk about ADHD as an issue of self-regulation, not so much a deficit of attention. Uh, didn't invent the concept, really got it from Dr. Russell Barkley. Uh, self-regulation is the ability for the thinking brain to step in and override the automatic brain. Uh, it takes effort to pause and, uh, and think about and override it, and sometimes effort to step out and be aware. What I'd like you to be aware of is that the media, uh, politicians, and corporate America have cracked the code on your attention. They know that you seek pain, or excuse me, seek pleasure and avoid pain, and don't mean being one of them. So many things are done uh, in the world uh, to prey on your attention. Uh, Think of it like this food is actually adjusted to make it more uh, tasty or to facilitate something. So if you go to a bar, you ever notice that there's peanuts or pretzels and stuff at the bar because it's salty and then you drink more. Again, that's designed to get you to consume more. Um, the media and politicians know how to push your buttons a little bit uh, to get your motions going because you're apt to make more impulsive decisions. Um, again, those that struggle with self-regulation actually fall prey uh, to these organizations. Uh, when you think about it, stop and think and look at any commercial and realize, oh, those are really just actors, or the politicians are telling me what they want to hear, or have you ever noticed that the media will, uh, they're, they're playing you, or they're showing you something with a lot of emotional example, uh, and not really putting the context in there because they want your eyeballs there to sell commercials and stuff. And so anyway, the point really is, is people are have manipulated or figured out ways to manipulate your attention and crack the code and most people with ADHD are prey to this because you're not aware of it. Um, as an attention exercise I would encourage you um, to watch commercials and begin to realize that they're actors uh, and that even the testimonials are not there. Um, if you're really astute, if you read testimonials, a lot of times you can figure out if the person's ever done it, particularly when it comes to books. There's a, I get asked to do reviews on other people's books and I'm not going to read the book. A lot of times I'm given a testimonial of the effort to write the book or the thought to write the book. Again, these are very subtle differences, but I would encourage you to watch commercials at some point in time and notice how they're making it seem simple and how they're getting you to kind of fall into that. Because again, those with ADHD struggle with self-regulation and you pray to these things. The more that you can pause and consciously exercise awareness and realize what they're trying to do to you, I think puts you in a better position not to get in trouble. So with that, I hope that this is a useful insight. Uh, for those that haven't watched my channel, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. We release a tip uh, or an insight each week. Um, and for the rest of you, I'm interested in your thoughts. Uh, have you fell prey to any of these things? Do you catch yourself? Do you step out every once in a while and go, wait a second, uh, these, these people are making it sound really, really good because they're not telling me the bad side and become aware of it. But just thoughts, comments, generalizations, uh, any other tips or thoughts, just please send the comments. I love that stuff. With that, hope you found this helpful. Catch us uh, next week for another great edition of Attention Talk video. Take care.